Climate resilient infrastructure has been all the talk ever since the advent of the threat to livelihoods, food and water security. The government of St. Lucia has signed an MOU expected to initiate a collaboration with UNOPS on water sector initiatives, with one of the focuses on the development of climate smart structures. Minister for Infrastructure Stevenson King says the MOU symbolizes St. Lucia's responsiveness to the achievement of the U.S. UN Sustainable Development Goal Number 6, the provision of clean water and sanitation for all. This MOU being signed today represents another opportunity for St. Lucia to collaborate with UNOPS on issues critical to the development of the country. The Ministry of Infrastructure and by extension the Government of St. Lucia has viewed infrastructure as a critical component of the overall st strategy for improving St. Lucia's economic, social, and environmental performance. The development and upgrading of, the, of St. Lucia's infrastructure in roads, air, and seaports, transport, water, sanitation, energy, and telecommunications is critical to raising productivity and living standards. Additionally, UNOPS signed an MOU with WASCO to provide support in the implementation of climate resilient water projects. Chairman of the Board of Directors, Vincent Hippolyte, disclosed that water services have been challenged by theft and lack of financial resources. The ideal situation of having an adequate supply of water and sewage services contends against aged and deteriorated infrastructure, non revenue water due to physical loss theft and poor operations management, deficiencies in meteorization, underdeveloped wastewater services, poor asset management, undeveloped alternative sources of water to augment existing supplies, lack of financial resources and inadequate technical and managerial capacity. UNOPS multi-country director for the Caribbean, Costa Rica and Panama, Alejandro Rossi, says the inability to access concessionary financing to build necessary resilience to natural and economic shocks results in extremely high debt levels. These unique challenges exacerbate acute exposure to the consequences of COVID-19 pandemic in terms of economic recovery as well as to any natural disasters that may occur during the upcoming hurricane season, leaving the country in a gravely disadvantaged position. In order to address these challenges today, we are ready to kick off a new phase of this fruitful relationship between the government of San Lucia and UNOPS, mostly focused on a joint cooperation to plan, develop, finance and maintain sustainable and resilient infrastructure. UNOPS first established a framework agreement with the government of St. Lucia in January 2015 and has since collaborated with the authorities on a number of key initiatives. This includes the Denry North Water Supply Redevelopment Project. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.